10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Warlock. Team Secrets turn to ban. <laughs> Dire Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <sighs> Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <sighs> Team secrets turn to pick. Admiral Tonka. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Axe. Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. 
Reserve time. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Life stealer. So, Life Stealer is picked up by Team Empire. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve so, Life Stealer time. is picked up by Empire. Someone who I thought was going to be picked up uh, immediately uh, in that third pick. So now they've got the life stealer, they've got the axe, they've got that opportunity for Team Empire uh, to, you know, have that mobility for Don't a life stealer and get back. in there with the infest, blink, pop the infest, and with with that out, uh, they ban the Ember Spirit on Team Secret, but maybe we see something from uh, uh, from Empire like a Storm Spirit coming. Ten out. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. So Team Secret, Enigma, Crystal Reserve Maiden, Kunkka, time. Spectre. Still need that mid for themselves. Maybe we see something ah. that can kind of hit from afar. Maybe like a, a TA. Obviously, that doesn't count in the early goings of a TA. But Storm Spirit has been banned out by Empire. Something I thought maybe they would pick for themselves mid and they do have the first pick for this fifth pick of both teams so they, they end up banding it out so maybe they want to go remaining. with something else on team empire and uh team secret five seconds They'll remaining pick their mid afterwards reserve time 10 seconds Our remaining. World devourer. team secrets turn to pick So they do do go with the OD. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. So now Team Secret, they're going to be up against this OD. We need time. to think about what really works well against him. Um, you know, sometimes you see something like alina picked into an od where if he astros himself you can kind of line up that um that stun but i don't know i'm me personally i don't know if i like alina up against this od have to find out sniper what they do end up going with and they are going to go with the sniper so, OD, Life Stealer, Axe, Warlock, Tree and Protector for Team Empire. Team Secret, they go with Sniper, Spectre, Kunko, Crystal Maiden, and Enigma. So, it's going to be Mapushka on the Tree and King R, and the Warlock, Ghostic on the Axe, Chappie on the on his pretty much signature Life Stealer, and then FN on the OD for Team Secret, Mid one on the Sniper, MP on the Spectre, Yapsor on the Kunko, Puppy, Crystal Maiden, and Kezu is going to be playing that enigma so if you're just joining me yes my mic was screwed up on obs i was talking in game that's on me and uh i didn't forget the overlay so there's something positive to take of this and uh Ten looks like we're all remaining. good here ready to go you guys are just experiencing the delay this is not a ricky cast this is not a drill Awesome. This is... I have not experienced this yet. Alright. 
that was something. Alright, so we take a look. Obviously, we've Prepare already introduced the heroes. They've kind of changed that spectator uh, loading since the last update. And we're going to take a look down below. Oh, MP kind of taking some hard hits from Maposhka. Maybe he doesn't want to trade with this tree and protector. He's going to have to run away already at half health. He's spending a tango. And he continues to get hit with that orb of venom. And Maposhka is going to chase him. <laughs> MP has to abandon ship and they are going to ping out MP now that he's got the nature's guys they've got that split second stun and just trying to break out the trees but if you get a nice stun in a call this could immediately be first blood and some trouble for seek uh, just gotta watch out don't think he is going to use call it's not the first thing you would take as an axe we take a look over him. Maposhka comes down. Maybe he spots out Puppy. So for right now, it looks as though it's going to be MP and Puppy down in the safe lane. Maposhka going to be roaming around as this tree and does get that one hit bash out on MP. Continuing to harass him now again back down below half health. And with Ghost Stick and Maposhka just hanging out in this off lane up against Crystal Maiden Inspector. And possibly Yaps were on the Kunkka. Kind of like this lane for Empire if they can harass those guys or not. from King R. MP's gonna continue to get run down by Ghostic. The battle hunger is it gonna be enough. One more tick. No, not enough as he survives with three health. And already, with the horn just sounding, MP's gonna have to go all the way back to base. It's the combination of King R, Ghostic, and Maposhka. Whew. Who, uh, pushed back this Spectre already back to the shrine, so... Again, we saw a little bit of what Secret has in the opportunity to get themselves a kill in the cross fight as well as the uh, Torrent. Obviously, it didn't work out there as MP was already too low and he was getting chunked away by both the Battle Hunger and oh, just Maposhka's hard hitting. And uh, Empire sent back to Spectre, get a free wave on the Ghost Stick. And now we're just going to see again Maposhka just harass out these heroes of Secret. We take a look at the other lanes. We'll take a look over mid as it's the OD SN up against mid one on the sniper. And mid one does have the ability to kind of just sit back, not get harassed out by death and freaking damage with splash damage. Radiant Poshka is have to run back. Spectral dagger does come through from the MP. Take a look over. Pretty deep. If they're trying to pull MP and possibly Absor out towards Ghost Stick, get Maposhka there with King R. And hard to get the Shadow Word and harass him. They're 
kind of onto this. That's why they're just sitting in these trees down low. On, uh, behind this tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Ghost is actually going to go all the way through. The tower's going to come in. He's going to hit on his car. He might get a little bit trouble. He's expecting his aggro. He's on him as well. But he's going to make the TP over. He's going to be under tower now. He has not used that frostbite just yet. They're actually looking for Ghost. They, they don't continue to roll on Hingar. He's going to use that shadow word. And now he's got the Fado Fonz out on the on Puppy. There is the frostbite as well. <laughs> Over towards mid FN here with mid one in the track. It's going to start to rain down on the FN. You just want to continue to harass him out. You do when you have that distance between the two. Coming over is the wall. Just trying to heal up and here comes X Mark to spot his first track. Okay, with the other four, you're going to have the fatal bombs out on three. You might get a little bit of trouble for secret, but you end up taking out FN. Meanwhile, MP is going to fall bottom. So it's a kill for secret. Kill for Empire. So right now, Empire, they do have themselves about a 1700 net worth advantage. Take a look over at Chappie. He's now hit with that sword. They're going to use the black hole as well just to secure this kill on Chappie. Wow, that is. Quite a bit committed just to get a life stealer, but they want to slow down the farm of Chappie, get themselves back in it, and they do use the black hole to get it. So Chappie back up, he'll TP in Kezu now without any more mana. Radiance well, back off the Eidolons can only do so much, and Chappie, not level 6 just yet. Kind has to be careful even more, he doesn't want to go down again, but knowing that black hole's not enough for 3 minutes. Take a look a bit at the item progression that's going on for both sides. Ghostick, he's going to have himself that blink dagger soon. He's, he's already at 1,400 gold. MP very far behind, just has those brown boots. And we take a look over mid at mid one. He's got himself boots as well, looking for those raindrops. And we do see these two. One line, one line. Middle tower is under Empire, they're going to continue to harass out this bottom tier one. They actually get the battle hunger out on MP here with King Arc. Ghostic and Empire can really just put our nice harassing out on the end. He really needs to be careful. He wants any hope of really coming back, getting that radiance, and possibly turning it around for himself later on in this game. Over top, Chappie already has himself those phase boots. Radiance top tower for the is under attack. As you just see phase boots into an armlet, Echo Saber. I'm not here. Radiance you can see the Midas come out. Under attack. We're wipes to and they've got this early advantage, and they want to kind of take that lane. Still just 425 gold away is Ghostick from this blink. And once he gets that blink, the lockdown and the initiation for Empire is going to be there just about nine minutes in. So, secret, they need to be worried as Ghostick is just having such a great time here. We go into this game as he's going to run down MP, get that caught with the call, he gets the slam and gets the kill, but now he's got to run away from the rest of Secret. Trying to be kept alive, there's the assassination, as well as the heal from Tree and Protector, but it's not going to be enough as Assassination flies through and gets the kill. Mid one, get the return kill on Ghost. To stop him from getting that point for a little bit longer, which is nice for Secret, but even there, he didn't even need it. 
runs down MP, gets the kill, and despite losing his life, well worth it to shut down that Spectre even longer. Black Hole up for Kezu in just about 15 seconds. He's going for a hand of Midas as well. Hand of Midas gaming, which is always, always a thrill. Hand of Midas here for FN. Get himself towards that blink, rooted up, getting actually pretty low. Shadow already is keeping him alive for a little bit. I'm gonna try and find him right now. To the high ground, get those counter helixes up. And there it is, there's blink. Easy as one, two. Again, we take a look up top at Kezu on this Dyer's top big one. He's going to be looking attack. at himself that black hole. I'm pretty sure he's got Midas ready on his career. And it's coming over with a hand of Midas for mid one as well as a hand of Midas out for FN. And Midas is going to be coming out for Kezu. Gold City. Kezu actually has to watch out as Makoshka is here. Scout it out. And he's not as Midas. Makoshka has the knowledge. And his whereabouts. So if this information coming over is going to be Ghostic as well as King R, they're going to use the haunt. So they do spot out this smoke immediately. That's going to be used to go over mid. This is going to be mid one getting the kill on. On two, he's going to get the dunk out on mid one. They're going to continue to move up lower than King X but as well as the torch stop Ghostic in his steps. And Shappy and Ghostic will be stopped from diving deep on MP and possibly getting themselves. A third kill on this Spectre. Double damage. So it's a one for one trade in terms of mids. I guess it benefits Secret more because Spectre was involved. Top tower is under attack. Which is always nice. Koshka does spot Kezu Chappy coming around the bend. They're going to look to get him. There's the rage. Well, the open world. Kezu. He doesn't want to use that black hole and he knows he can't use it with nobody really following it up. Shappy, Miposhka, they run down Kezu on the Enigma, and it's six to four in favor of Empire. But meanwhile, these Eidolons do take themselves a tier one tower top, so a pretty nice trade. Oh boy. Let's take a look. MP struggling just a touch. Sound even more apparently. Dyer's bottom tower is under now attack. it's different than any other time, but you know, fix some things. So three man smoke comes out for Empire, oh, FN King R, as well as Ghostic. They've got that blink Dyer's initiation with a call ready to go. King R, he does have that chaotic offering, so if they find a couple, they might want to go in on this and really throw everything they've got. Mid one, he's kind of just attack. sitting towards the mid lane right now Radiance's with the Absor. They don't find anything attack. with this smoke just yet, and they do have the haste out on FN. So they could make a move. They are going to find themselves a crystal made, and they hit away both that fan and Ghostic. And he will get that Your final dunk on my steel. with the Culling Blade, and then gets yet another kill. Now five and one for this axe. So seven to four in favor of Empire. And despite all that, they're only up a thousand gold. It really looks like they're just controlling the map, controlling really the tempo of this game. But still, Secret, they've kept themselves pretty close in terms of net worth. 
to net worth our mid one and then Kezu, but there's the blink with the call. They've got the battle hunger out on Kezu as well. The black hole comes out on two, but there's the counter helix to get the kill, the haunt to get away. And let's see where MP has ended up. Now there's the gonna be killed off. There's the freezing kill, but it's gonna be stopped by the chaotic offering. Puppy's gonna try and run away. He's hit with that uh, fatal bond, and the ghost ship's gonna come on through onto King R. Meanwhile, FN's gonna get the kill on MP. Chap is gonna come around, try and get himself a kill on the TPing out mid one will be able to escape as well as the crystal meeting gets out here too so puppy survives with just a little bit of health a little bit of gold going the way of empire they've now granted themselves a 2500 net worth advantage One is trying to be taken out by this nice golem of the warlock. They're just trying to defend, they will pull that golem off. They don't want to give up free gold if they don't need to. Take a look over, let's go around the horn, see what the item progression is thus far as we see the four staff coming out for FN, gonna be trying to finish off that Radiance hurricane pike. Meanwhile, up top they do denied. deny that tower. Is Kezu denying it? We take a look over at Ghost. If he's got himself that blank looking for the blade mail. Over on Chappie, he's got himself the phase boots and the arm went now going for the desolator and might find himself an echo saber next. And for Treant, the tranquils and literally just observer wards queued up for quite some time is the warlock he's going for the hand of Midas on the other side team secret still looking for that radiance on specter has the urn has the phase boots mid one top of the net worth he's looking for a maelstrom of his own as he's got a Midas of his own and then we take a look over at Kezu uh, now it does have the mech as well as the arcane boots for the guardian greaves possibly finish it off next or go for the blink beforehand it's usually the case and then obviously the sports have their supporty nice items so infested into Ghost Stick is Chappy. They're looking to creep cut here, try and make a move, take this tier one, maybe force the rotation out from Secret, but I think Secret are a little bit wiser than that. As they'll be going over towards mid to try and take a tower of their own. And if they could trade a tier one, they wouldn't be too upset about that. As quite a goal here. On coming through, really take a look over his MP. Almost puppy get themselves a kill on King R. We're a little late to that one. We don't actually see King R fall and then. Uh, over mid. Mid one's gonna fall, and we're missing kills left and right. And all of Empire disconnect except for FN. So King R goes down to the freezing field as well as the haunt. So two ults used there. We take a look over mid. It was probably just a blink call. And I've been changing my settings. Have you been hearing the slack? pings that I've been getting there's a lot of people saying your mic's too low your mic's too low please for the love of God your mic's too low something along the lines of that so I'm trying to fix that for you guys Have this pause let's take a look again net worth is sniper just in front of fn for now he did just fall that gives an opportunity for fn to really take that first net worth lead for the first time i think this game Messages here telling me about my volume. I really apologize about that. It's my bad all around. 
If you can ever forgive me, Twitch chat viewers, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can someone tell B-Cop his mic is low? Hey, not sure you'll see this, but your mic is low. Turn up your mic, please. Turn up your volume, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, let's continue the game. Here we go. FN's going to be looking over mid. There's the torn as well as the Frostbite, but he gets the blink. Call the Ghost Ship. He's going to try and save his life. There's the Sadie's Eclipse. He's not going to get anybody just yet. Ghost Ship's going to get very low. He's going to be slowed down, but he's got himself that Blade Mount. Now MP's going to try and come in, finish him off. The Force that Bow is going to keep Ghost Stick alive, and now he's going to be rooted up. is going to try and run away as well. He's going to be hit by that Sentry, as well as the X marks the spot. But still, nothing happening. And nobody dying, but now again, there's the torrent as well as the frostbite next marks the spot. They'll get themselves the kill on Makoshka, thanks to the TP of Puppy, to close the distance and get themselves a kill on Seal. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So the shrine is used. The people heal on both ends. Let's see a little fight recap on that one. 455 gold going the way of Secret. Got the kill. Dyer's middle tower that was Kezu who attack. finished him off. He's looking pretty good. Is he going to go for the Guardian Greaves in full? Yes, he is. So 10-7 to 7 in favor of Empire. If you had them the first to 10 kills, congratulations. You just won. I won a little while ago when mid one went down, but I wasn't paying attention. So, while all this is happening, MP was a little bit involved, still going for this Radiance. The ever-poor Spectre at 4,200 net worth. He is 3,000 gold behind this axe. That is just a sad, despicable start for a Spectre. Meanwhile, Maposhka is getting the side of Empire knowledge on where MP is. He doesn't see the rest of the team just yet of Yapsor, Kezu, as well as Puppy. There is a ward back here that should spot out Puppy if it doesn't run out in time. And there it is, it will spot him out. Maposhka still moving forward. MP... Playing a little far forward, and when you've got a tree and protector who's invis and you have no idea where he is, maybe you don't want to be that far forward without your team. Of course, he's, he's got Yaps or maybe to throw that boat, but I mean, just a Kunkka and a Spectre, maybe not putting yourself in the best of positions. Whatever that King are. Buddy. So FN over towards mid as Kezu, mid one, and Puppy are here. Kezu goes that black hole again. No blink dagger just yet. And he's actually going to be going for the Solar Crest first. So not going for the blink dagger. And smoking up is Puppy, mid one, and Kezu. They're going to look to be heading towards the Roche pit. Trying to go for this first Roche of the game. Make a pretty aggressive decision to do so. Down by 4,000 net worth. Let's see if Empire kind of get the hint. If they realize that a couple of these heroes are off the map, maybe they're in Roche. But for now, it doesn't look as though they're making the rotation over. Kezu is going to really be tanking this and working hard towards getting this Roche. All the is going to be going out on mid one as he's got this open spot. He's looking for a blink dagger zone. He's got the mouse from the Eidolons just hitting away at Roche. Kezu here. There it is. There's Roche. And there's the Aegis on mid one. Secret, take it under the noses of Empire. Secret, they're not trying to fight really too much. They're trying to farm, trying to get themselves those next couple of items and really just extend the game for MP. MP who now has himself about 6,000 net worth, trying still to get this Sacred Relic and finish off that Radiance, but again, he is very far from it, and really, Empire, if they can continue to shut down the Spectre, they should really pull up on this advantage that they have at this point in time. They've got themselves Chappie, he's got himself the Desolator, as well as him has that armlet, now it looks as though he's going to be going for that nice AC, and then we took a look over at King R again, he's got that Midas. He's working well, but Maposhka, he continues to keep himself near MP at all times. He wants to know where this Spectre is going to be, and they want to shut him down. They want to continue to make it harder for him to get that Radiance and really work towards anything. And Maposhka tries to cut the trees, but he's going to get uninvisible. 
were become visible. And now he goes invisible, gets the stun, stops the TP. There's the blink and the call. But the haunt's going to keep him alive for a little bit longer as he jumps over to FN. So he's going to use that haunt to be a little slippy specter. And FN not going to be able to get the kill on MP, but M MP... He does find himself a little bit of an escape, and that's very crucial for Secret because they can't have him continually dying and not grabbing this radius. At some point, it kind of seems a little bit that Secret's kind of playing this for Protect 1 ish way to keep MP alive and get himself that radius. Said Reedy. With Reedy's. Take a look over at mid one. He's still keeping pace with FN on the OD. He's got himself that Aegis still. Now the Blink Dagger and the Maelstrom. So we'll see if he finishes off the Mjolnir next. And now a medallion comes out on King R. So they've got two medallions here. Poor Empire. Mine. We are going to infest into Ghostic. It looks as though Empire, despite not having themselves the Aegis, are going to be look looking to be the ones on the aggressive side as these Eidolons are going to catch out Ghostic. They're going to spot the whole plan and it's freaking far. Works out. Radiant's middle tower has been denied. The post could actually going to be dusted up. They're going to spot him, get the X mark spot as well as the shrapnel down to try to get that torrent to land on him. Overgrowth comes on through, and the coach is going to hit by that assassinate, but that's where it's already got him. So meanwhile, he's going to be hit by that blink call of Ghost Stick as well as Chappie. They'll get themselves the return, so it's a one for one on position fours, and everybody goes back to their side. So 11-8 in favor of Empire. They hold themselves a 3,600 net worth lead, and again, still Spectre very uh, underwhelming in terms of net worth and really anything. 0-3 and 5. The farm not too great. So we're going to finish off that race. Just 24 minutes, and he really just can't find the farm to finish it off. He's continually getting harassed out. Maposhka keeping eyes on him. They force him to back off. It's just been such a tough time for MP and the Spectre. Really just trying to, to find the farm and really find something out of all this. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Let's take a look over mid. Helping gaps or the rest of Secret. They're here with Kezu. They go high ground, they're going to be looking into the faces of Empire, and there's the Eidolons doing the scouting, and Ghostic just going to hit away and clean him up, and now Icemark the spot comes out as well as the blade, now popped by Ghostic, he's going to get hit by that turret, and now the blade's going to get very low, he's going to be cleaned up immediately, here comes the Chaotic Offering, that's going to stop MP, he's going to use himself that haunt, the Black Hole's going to come on through, on the Chappie, they're going to bring him about half health, and now the Sanity's Clips is going to follow it up, they're going to kill off Poppy, they're going to kill off Kezu, and they're going to continue to roll inside of Empire, and there's the blink on forward, but the one is off on the cliff, he's going to continue to hit away at Chappie, Chappie's getting very low, he's going to get very low, he's going to arm to safety and get out with the four step of FN. Meanwhile, Maposhka staying nearby. He'll be killed off by mid one, and it's a two for two trade an axe and a treant for an enigma and a crystal maiden. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So it's a two for two trade. You take out Kezu, he uses that black hole, doesn't really do too much as it gets stopped by the chaotic offering of King R. And that's really the problem with having yourselves in Enigma fighting into a warlock who's ready with that ult. He drops the black hole and then all of a sudden right off of it, there's the chaotic offering if you don't catch yourselves a warlock and it's stopped and then the fight goes the way of Empire. Now obviously they had a two for two split, but Chappie was low, FN was low, and they got themselves out and got themselves two kills. So we take a look over. Spectre, has the time come? Is it finally here? 26 minutes into the game. As 
has the gold. No radiance just yet. Keeping an eye. Radiant Watch 2017. This chap, he's still trying to finish off this AC. He sits a little bit behind the mid one on the sniper. And there it is. Radiance Watch 2017 has come to an end. MP, 26 and a half minutes into the game, he has found himself a Radiance. The gods are with him. Let's see, now that this Radiance is picked up for Empire, is this going to change the game? Does the Radiance burn? Does the mischance? Does the haunt with this Radiance really change it up for Empire now? Does the ability to stop that Blink Dagger of Ghost Stick? Maybe he doesn't come in with the calls, but let's see. Let's see. How it goes for Secret now that the Radiance has finally been picked off. Or picked up. So there it is. Because he's going to spot the Poshka and MP comes on through. Just like that, they find a kill. Kezu. Should get credit, credit for the kill. He's 3 3 and 3. Poshka, not really a high priority target. They don't use much for it. They do end up using that haunt from MP. I think MP was really trying to get the kill. He needs to really catch up on that farm. Meanwhile, Chappie, I'm pretty sure he's finished off this uh, AC. And here it comes all the way down. BKB's finished for him, as well as the Hurricane Pike and the Blink Dagger here. So I'm having a very nice time at top of the net worth. And we compare that to the top of the net worth on Secret Mid One, who's got the Mjolnir, Blink, and Midas. Looking for the Yasha next. We'll see if that Manta style picked up for this sniper. There's the scan coming out from Empire. They do know that a couple of them are here. It's going to be MP. MP's in a little bit of trouble. There's the blink. Close the infest. Close the blade mail. Popeye Ghost. They're going to get themselves an immediate kill. They're looking for more in Yaps, or they've got themselves the open wounds, but they're not going to chase. That was a quick kill on MP. And I'm sorry to say, the Radiance changed nothing. Marks the spot comes out on Ghost Dick. He'll be pulled on back, get hit by that torrent. But no follow up from Secret. They don't have MP for another 16 seconds. In that time, they will have Haunt off the cool down. But going for Roche is going to be Empire, and there's really nothing stopping them in terms of Secret coming over. Secret, we take a look over at Kez, who's got himself that solar press. No Guardian Greaves finished just yet. Let's see what he's going for next. It's actually the Bloodstone. Quickly, because you can get that, and how much difference it's gonna make. Take a look over, Manta style, trying to get finished for MP. Dyer's bottom tower. So far away, meanwhile, over in the jungle, a fight comes in. There's the boat. They're gonna finish off King R as the haunt comes in from MP. BKB's popped by Ghost. If we were there a little bit late. Now here comes X marks the spot for BKB used by FN, gonna be forced out. We'll just back off after losing that war. Do I have a second? That was hurting my ears. So Bloodstone finished here for Enigma. We take a look over him. Poshka again has eyes on MP. As he's nearby, breaks those trees, and they'll spot him. Here's mid one. There's another kill. The overgrowth is going to be on three. 
but again, Kezu knows exactly where he is and gets himself the kill. So 14 to 13, despite the kills being close, still 7,000 net worth lead for Empire. Napsor is going to be looking for that blink dagger, and you know when things are all said and done, there's still a fully healed up, t or not healed up, but full health tier two tower top, full health tier two tower mid. Empire objectively hasn't been making the most progression. You know they have this 7,000 net worth lead, but still need to find themselves. The, the objectives, the, the the finish, the high ground push. And with the, that time really continuing to pass, letting MP find himself the man to style mid one farming up, he's going to be hard to really get the high ground on. Mine. I wonder if even with this lead, Empire know that they're going to struggle going for objectives. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I think Secret kind of feel that out. They know that Empire aren't really pushing the issue in objectives. They'll continue to farm, try and find as much as they can until the time happens. They'll let those tier two towers fall and try to hold the high ground and eventually turn this 8,000 net worth deficit around. Take a look up top. 4,700 gold saved up. Courier coming through. All the way to F. Drop off the pretty void stone. And they're going to continue to push, but again, they aren't really taking objectives. They'll push, they'll farm, they'll up their advantage now to 10,000 net worth, but said and done. This is the, just the game getting extended more and more for Secret and Radiant's top tower is under attack. Overall, I think that's a win for MP this and the rest of hit. Secret. As they want to get these next Radiant's items to really be ready to hold. So there it is. There's the tier 2 tower top gun. That's wrong. Ghost that's going to continue to push. He's looking for Shadow Blade next. He's got that BKB. Let me take a look at the timers. BKB down to 9 seconds. And here, 9 seconds as well. Let me take a look over at Chap. He's going to be looking for that MKB. He's got himself the AC, the Desolator, as well as the Armor. Farming pretty well still behind mid one. As again, they are ultimately getting ready for the high ground push. Stick finished off for FN. He's got himself the haste. See if Empire work with this. Ghost Stick coming over. Chappie kind of far back, so not too sure they want to fight without him, and they'd probably want him infested in Ghost Stick. Both teams being pretty passive for the last, I'd say, three or four minutes. Pulling the wind out of my excitement sails. They will just continue to farm it again, as I've just been reiterating time and time again in the last three to four minutes. Is Secret's okay with this? They're okay with trying to get themselves the farm they need to find themselves back in the game, especially MP, whose net worth at 12,500 is still behind Ghost Dick on this axe. That is an off-lane axe that has more net worth than a safe lane Spectre who's just had a really Dyer's poor time and only four deaths, but they were very crucial and it was a 26-minute radiance. So he has struggled quite a bit. Now the MKB here to nullify that mischance and there's the infest out on Ghost Dick and as well as the Shadow Blade coming out. This is where they want to make their move.
under attack. It is times like this where I really do wish I kind of had a co-caster with me, but that's on me. Should have asked someone before I started this. And that Fen just going to queen up top. He's got himself that sheep stick. He's going to be looking for the sheepest guard next. And let's see if Secret maybe feel comfortable enough. And maybe they'll wait for the BKB on Kezu to really start to be the aggressors in this game. Down still 10,000 net worth. And Empire, they've really sat back quite a bit. And they're going to be waiting for the Roche, which may respawn in 24 seconds. Up top, MP. He's got himself that Manta style. So Manta Radiance. Arm's kind of pulling back, just behind the axe now, for the first time in this game. Let's go look at King R. He's got himself that Sower Crest, and actually Poshka does it. Is that on the courier? No. Just hasn't had the gold for it. Pretty sure he's just been buying wards the whole time. I'm going to look over towards Roche, which will respawn in just under three minutes. So it looks as though Empire, they're going to take their time to farm and really just wait for Roche to be back up. And that's where they're really going to make their move. They're going to go for this Aegis and possibly Secret. They're going to look to fight because they know that the Roche pit's a nice choke point for a nice black hole. And that's exactly where they like to fight if it all came down to it. So they'll sit back, they'll wait, they'll hope to get up. The knowledge that Roche is up, and maybe they send the Eidolons over there. And there it is. Check for Roche, they see it's not up. Still up in two minutes, and both teams will just continue to be p passive until that time comes. They're going to try and get Spectre that heart beforehand, and... Let's see how well MP can really farm. We take a look over at mid one. He's going for an MKB of his own. And then let's take a look over at Kezu, who is just about finished with that BKB and might have it in time for this Roche fight and would really love to have it before Roche comes up. Take a look over at the other side. Empire going to be looking for the Abyssal Blade out on Chappy FN. He's got himself now the Sheep's Guard Sheep Stick. BKB and Hurricane Pike, very farm, top of the net worth, and with that, Empire, they are gonna smoke up his five. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Provides. Jungle area towards top smoke's gonna break there. The hex as well as the blink call to haunt. He's coming through, but I'm not too sure they want to continue on forward and backing off is going to be secret as they lose just one in Yapsu. So they get the easy kill. He's dead for 37 seconds, and that'll be when Roche comes back up. They'll check again. They're not going to find it. Hopefully they leave something closer. Really just leave Maposhka here for another minute or so. But they're not going to. And Empire, they might want to keep the aggression on. They know there's no buyback. Or really, he wasn't forced to use it. They know that Kunkka is not going to be up for another 15 seconds. And why not try to get this Tier 2 from Secret? So they will take the Tier 2. They'll eat the Assassination and Roche. Is up and ready to go. The Eidolons of Secret do spot it. So let's see if Secret are going to come through. They don't have Haunt for another 58 seconds. Secret is not going to be stopped by the stun and Empire. They're going to continue to go for this Roche. It looks as though they're going to be trying to come in on Secret. There it is with the Frostbite coming in on the OD. He's going to Astro Imprison himself with the X marks the spot coming on through. And the boat's not going to hit as he's Astro Imprison still. Kezu sitting on the side. They've got the Shrapnel raining down onto the Roche pit. They get the assassination out on King R. Meanwhile, Chappie, oh god, just forming up the ancient creeps. They get the kill on Kezu, which I, somehow I completely missed. Jesus, that was horrible camera work. So they still look to continue to work. The X marks the spots back out onto. Ghost stick, he'll be pulled back and let's see now in 
infested again is Ghostic. He's going to be invisible. Puppy on the side with mid one and an MP. Kezu back up. And it's still just a fight by this Roche pit. Empire's got Moposhka just sitting nearby. So it, even if Secret try to go in, they'll have themselves the overgrowth as well as that one hit stun out of the invisibility. Is under attack. The courier's dead. Dunks. Ghostic says good night, good fight. Still both teams kind of sitting really close to this Roche pin. They both want this Aegis. It could mean the end of the game for Secret. It could mean new life for Secret. That's really what hangs in the balance in this next fight. So again, infested up is Ghostic. Still trying to make something happen. There's the Spectral Dagger down on the low ground. MP trying to get in. They get themselves a little bit of vision. The assassination will come out on King R. This will come in handy. Secret, they actually back attack. off of this Roche pit. So Empire, they're still sitting steady by the Roche pit, not going in just yet. They don't really have full eyes yet on Secret, so they don't know to go in or not just yet. But they're moving up top, and they're moving towards Secret ever more. Still in Viz's ghost stick. Ooh, actually comes by that sentry ward. Two very close to each other, and that was almost a bad spot for the axe and the life stealer. There's the ward. There it is, picked off. Nice hundred gold for FN. That's exciting, isn't it? And there it is. There they are, heading towards Roche. Cappy taking it very quick with this nice solar crest out on Roche. And secret, they conceded Roche to Chappie and Empire. So it's Aegis and Cheese on the third Roche of the game. And that's Aegis for Chappie, again, with Empire. They're up now 15,500 net worth. Secret, they know the time is now that they need to be defending their high ground because coming through mid is going to be Empire. So Chappie shows himself. There's the Frostbite as well as the Torrent. He's going to have to be forced that back as well as use that Rage already down to half health. Meanwhile, pushing bottom is going to be MP. He's got himself that nice Reaver. So the net worth lead continues to extend. MP trying to do as much as he can. And pushing that bottom creep wave, trying to get himself and his team his first tier 2 tower. And with that, Empire kind of backed off, and again, Maposhka just wards. And again, we take a look at Empire, as now they're trying to get this butterfly out on OD. We take a look over at Chappie, still looking for the Abyssal Blade. Ghost Stick, he's got himself pretty much everything that he wants. I'm not too sure they didn't see that. Stick, trying to take the long way around. Puppy's nearby. There's the Shadow Blade used. Coming over is Maposhka. Trying to make a move. There's the Sentry Ward. I'm not... Does it spot him? It does have him in vision. There's the Blink Call with the Overgrowth out on two. They're trying to get something with the Blink Call. That's going to come out on two as well. But the Raining Down is going to come through on Maposhka. He's going to be the first one to die. Because he's going to drop to Chappie. And now Empy might be in a little bit of trouble. He's hit by those open wounds. But he uses that Spectral Dagger. He'll get out. And it will just be for the time being a one for one is that then gets me one and puppy. There's the blink call gonna come through. We take a look. Yaps are in a bit of trouble. He'll fall as I continue to drop the ball on the camera work. So hitting away is mid one as he was forced to buy back an empire. They know it's their time. They're up 20,000 net worth. Chappie continuing to get hit down low and blinking forward is FN. He's going to get that hex. He's going to try and bring down mid one one more time. And he's dead for 95 seconds. And with that, GG is called. And empire will take game one of this best of three over secrets. There it is. Not celebratory black hole. Celebratory chaotic offering. And team empire will...
Whew. So that was kind of slow game towards the end. Nice in the beginning. Uh, camera work that was kind of bad. I apologize for that. And as well as the mic and sound issues. Going to try and fix it before the next game. Uh, I'm your caster, Bcop, at Bcop92 on Twitter. Tell me how well my sound is, please. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and fix that. Apologies for the first game. Not everything really worked out. My camera work was so 